concentrated on the poor. The rich ones have their own photographers, and I feel my goal would be to just zero in on those who I call, consider the forgotten ones. Have you seen this book before? Yes, oh, yeah. I have. Yeah. So maybe uh, we're looking for some of these people. Yeah, that's Louis, Lisa, yeah, yeah. I know the whole family. These are people from the West Side, no. like Maria. Do you know him, Pedro? Yeah, yeah, I know him. <laughs> I know him, that's Jennifer. Chino and Chinito. Yeah. yeah, I remember him too. He yeah. just went back to his, yeah, name, yeah, was, his name was Nuncio. Oh, there goes Pee Wee. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know it. Yeah. I, I was born and raised here. Oh, yeah, it's my nephew. Yeah? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's my nephew. <laughs> Schnibb. Uh, right around the corner. I have your book in the house. <laughs> she How recognized you? How did you recognize him? He never changes. <laughs> and this is his wife. How are you? <laughs> Jesus, I was like 10 years old the last time I saw you. Did you know them? That's my grandma. No. Oh, oh my God. That's, it? That's my grandma. For <laughs> real? <laughs> For my father's side. <laughs> I'm glad my kids got to see you. Whenever we go into the West Side, we see these people with great potential all over. Mm -hmm. And we know that under the conditions that exist in our society, very little of this potential will come to fruition. James Webster, uh, 30 years old. My friends call me Jimmy. When you look at his photographs, you just see people for who they are. And we're all people, rich, poor, black, white, whatever. That's what you can learn from it. We're all here for some reason, and I guess that was his reason to come look us up and take our picture. All right. Here's the actual one that's 20-something years old. Oh, Milton, look at, he's got our book. Jimmy. Look how old it is, it's all beat up. Oh, sure. Well, I'm glad it was used. I think this is the one you gave me, Milton. Yeah, yeah. Look at that, he even signed it. <laughs> this is a very nice picture. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you, Milton. A friend of mine asked me to uh, take some photographs while he recorded the music and preaching in the Holiness Church on Buffalo's East Side, and uh, I readily accepted his request. The previous year I had been summoned before the House and American Committee and the vicious attack against me and my family uh, practically wrecked my optometric office. Oh, it says, Rogova named as top red in Buffalo box at nearly all queries. Milton Rogova, an optometrist, they even spelled it wrong, made it clear that he would answer few questions. And my voice was essentially silenced politically. I thought that I should do my photography and speak out, this time through my photographs, and that's how I got into photography. I decided to uh, do a series right close to home, and I selected the uh, Lower West Side, which was just a few blocks from my optometric office. It was known as the Italian neighborhood, but by the end of the Second World War, most of the more affluent Italians had moved away, and in their place came Puerto Ricans, African Americans, Native American Indians, and poor whites. A lot of unemployment there, uh, prostitution, drugs, 
and uh, alcoholism. And I felt that this is the kind of a place I wanted to, to show the people. Hey, what's it? Yes, come in, he said. Hey, nice to see you. Nice to see you. So we let a little steam off that night. And so I'm glad Milton had come in that day, you know, she, you know, took out a picture because um, the way he took it, it brings back memories. memories yeah. You know, that takes me back in the 71 when yeah. I was doing the Kung Fu fight. Yeah. You know. Everybody was Kung Fu. <laughs> <laughs> we had, had a little celebration that night. He said, oh, y'all boys having a good time. I said, yeah, we having a good time. So we had worked all 18 hours at Trees of Queen. So we were letting a little steam off that night. And when I was finished with that series, Lower West Side, I prepared an exhibit of 150 photographs in this beautiful gallery. That was my first major exhibit. People just flocked there. Some of them cried when they saw that picture on the wall instead of in the police department. To me, that's the greatest thing of all. Twelve years after I, we had left the Lower West Side series, my wife said, why don't you go back? At first, I sort of rejected the idea, but when everybody's out there and hugging and kissing us, we decided we can go back again. Welcome to my home. Oh, would you see our baby? He's 20 oh, years old. <laughs> oh, oh, God. So we went back. There he goes. Oh, you Look doing? at that. That's the baby. How you doing, Mama? <laughs> Milton, you look good. Uh, well, and he takes good care of me. Now, 28 years later, I said, I thought that Milton was going to take pictures and move on down the line to another city, another state, and all that. Yeah. But Milton kept coming back. Yeah. My goodness, look at that head full of hair. <laughs> He came from the top of he his was, head down to his chin, though. He was only four years old. <laughs> here he Six was. Here he was about eight or nine. My goodness, we've come a long way. Is something that going back three times and uh, and being well received and in a simple way, straightforward way, I record their lives. It was a wonderful, oh, yeah. wonderful family. To me, it's a uh, it's an accomplishment that uh, I could never have foreseen when I first started. I thought I was just going to be a simple photographer, just doing straightforward photography, and gradually it developed into something that's really uh, worthwhile, in my opinion. Hey, Phil, don't get drunk for your birthday. <laughs> okay. 
don't get drunk. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Take a couple more. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Very nice.